A couple of months ago, I created a video showing you how to opt out of Google's new Flock ad system, the Federated Learning of Cohorts type of ad system. And in that video, I told you that Google was going to be adding a dedicated toggle for this type of feature in a future update of Google Chrome. And that's happened now. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to disable and block Google's FLOC type of advertising system. In this video, I'll be using the Canary version of Chrome since that's where we're seeing this toggle first show up. But as time passes, Google will be bringing this toggle over to the beta branch of Chrome as well as the stable release. And in the video description, I'll also be including a link to a Chrome flags page that you can set that will force this feature on an earlier release. So if you don't want to use the Canary version, you should be able to go to this flags page, force enable this feature, and you'll get this option in the latest build of Chrome. But again, this is only until the feature hits the stable release, which at Google's pace typically takes a month or two. So to start, we're just going to open up the Chrome application. We're going to tap the three dot menu icon at the top right and then dive into the settings. From here, look in the basics section and we're going to tap on the privacy and security option. And then you're gonna see an option here called privacy sandbox. And naturally by default, Google has set this to on. It has set this feature to enabled. So to turn it off and to block Google's FLOC, as well as any other trial features, as you can see, this is toggling what trial features are on in Google Chrome. As of right now, Google is calling this the privacy sandbox. It's been known by many other terms. Again, we've called it FLOC, Federated Learning of Cohorts in the past. Now it's being called the privacy sandbox. Google's also referred to this as interest-based advertising instead of targeted advertising. But all we have to do is go into this privacy sandbox section, tap the toggle to turn it off, and that will disable this type of new targeted advertising that Google is pushing through using Chrome. Now you're gonna to need to do this on each version, on each install of Chrome that you're using. So if you're using Chrome on a tablet, you're gonna to need to go through the same process to block the privacy sandbox trials in Google Chrome like we did here. The same thing for the desktop version. And again, remember, if you're using the stable build as of right now while I'm recording this video, you may need to enable a Chrome flag feature to see this privacy sandbox option within the settings. But this will be rolling out to more devices as it hits the beta and then the stable build of Chrome in the next month or two.